Hey YouTube, uh, today we're going to do another Emerson video and as a way of introducing the knife, in this case the Emerson Raven, uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, a little bit of history about Emerson Knives Incorporated uh, and this is the Blackbird. So in the late, um, late 1990s, around 1997, Emerson Knives Incorporated was started. Um, previously, Mr. Emerson had been making custom knives and custom knives only. <clears throat> he started in his garage in uh, the late 80s and early 90s and continued um, making custom knives in his garage and then uh, eventually started a shop. In 1997, Emerson Knives Incorporated was started. And the first model that went into production was the Emerson Raven. The, this model, this one here, is a 2001 model. The original Emerson Ravens that were produced in 1997 did not have this oval thumb stud, excuse me, did not have this circular thumb stud that you see here. In 1997, the thumb studs were oval. What happened there was when the shipment of thumb studs came in, they were too large for the slot that had already been milled into the knives. So what they did instead was they cut the thumb discs so that the top and bottom, in this, in this case the top and bottom, were, were oval and each side was, excuse me, this side was radiused and this side and this side were flat thus the, the term the oval thumb disc on the uh, the 97 Ravens. Let's see if this is coming into focus. Right, so that's circular, like all Emersons are now. Eventually, there's a desire for a G10 model of the Raven. Um, the Raven is uh, it's called Kydron. It's, uh, it's similar to our FRN in that it's a, uh, a glass reinforced plastic um, and it's very lightweight, but eventually the G10 model came out and it was called the Blackbird. Now the Raven and Blackbird can be had in um, green handle finish or black handle finish. I just happen to have uh, both green handles. And the Blackbird is basically the same same design as the Raven, just like I said in G G10 handles instead of Kydron. However, when they switched to G10, there was a slight design change in the way um, the cutouts were made to to access the the, um, the thumb desk. Excuse me. And you can see here that the thumb disc on the Raven up top is a lot closer to the Kydron on the bottom here, whereas this G10 cutout is a lot larger, which allows for better access to the thumb disc. So in my opinion, the, G the excuse me, the Blackbird is a better knife than uh, the Raven, just because of that feature. A, uh, it can be difficult to deploy uh, the knife. Uh, well, sometimes you have to. Uh, it takes a lot more, more thought and more, um, uh, more dexterity to do it. Um, the Raven has been discontinued, as well as the Blackbird. I think they were discontinued in. Uh, around 2002, I want to say. So if you find one, you'll, uh, you'll be pretty lucky to find one. They did come out with a sprint run of Super Ravens uh, in 2009. The Super Ravens did have a black G10 and a stonewash blade, and they were waved. They had um, they were the only knife to have a hidden wave feature. Basically, what it was was the wave was hidden by this. The swell of the uh, of the knife, the handle, the wave was hidden here, so that when you pulled it from the pocket, it was deployed. But then, when it was open, you couldn't see the wave. And those were offered in the A spear point and B tanto style, uh, just like the Raven and Blackbird were. Now, back in 2001, Mr. Emerson used a finish called hard chrome on his satin finish knives. Um, today he uses stone wash, and somewhere in between he used uh, a ceramic finish. 
um, and you can see that the, the hard chrome is a little bit, a little bit shinier, a little more glossy, but it holds, um, it, it stays, the coating is very durable. In fact, I've used this Blackbird quite often, but you, you wouldn't notice it uh, just by looking at it. So I think that's about it, all I wanted to say about the Blackbird and the Raven. Uh, if, as always, if you have any questions, let me know. And always be dressed to play and geared to slaughter. Have a good day, guys.